Today, people across the country dropped off their unwanted and expired prescription medications on National Drug Take Back Day. The idea is so those pills don't get into the wrong hands. Well, New 6's Amanda Castro explains this day is helping one local police department get drugs off the streets. Wonderful. Right in the box would be great. Thank you. Frances Ann Stoltz says these pills have been sitting in her medicine cabinet for a while. Well, I had surgery, and when I left the hospital, they gave me these pills for pain, and I resolved never to take them, and it's been over a year, and they're sitting there, and I don't want to be tempted, so I'm thrown away. They've never been opened. She stopped by the Winter Park Police Department Saturday morning to drop off her unwanted prescription pills. This is one of many law enforcement locations across Central Florida that's participating in the DEA's National Prescription Drug Take Back Day. Winter Park PD says it took back more than 800 pounds of unwanted or expired prescription drugs during the last collection in the spring, keeping these pills off the streets and out of the wrong hands. You hear all these things about pain pills, and that's, that's the reason I wanted to get rid of them. News 6 is committed to bringing the opioid crisis to light and showing how the epidemic is destroying lives here in Central Florida. The Take Back Day, getting results in the fight against opioids. People like Stoltz, grateful for the chance to get rid of their pills safely. I don't want to flush them down the toilet because they say that. I don't even want to open them. In Winter Park, Amanda Castro, News 6.